Hey guys, so I'm on a website called HackerRank.com, which allows you to practice your coding skills. So this website has a lot of different coding challenges that you can test your skills against. And um, here we're currently on a problem called Simple Array Sum, and it's done by Shashank21J. And so the problem says, given an array of n integers, can you find the sum of its elements? And then it gives us the format input. So the first line contains n, which denotes the size of the array. And the second line contains n space separated integers representing the array's elements. And then the output format is going to print the sum of the array's elements as a single integer. So here they give us a little example. Um, the sample input will first have the number 6, which is our value n, which tells us how many integers are going to be in the array. So here we have the number 6, so we should see 6 numbers down here, and we do. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 different numbers, um, or 6 numbers. And what we want to do is we want to take these numbers and add them up and then print out the output or the sum of these numbers, which would be 31. So here they give an explanation of how this works. Just like I said just a moment ago, we just add up the numbers in the array, and then we print out the sum of those numbers. So I'm doing this challenge in the C programming language. And you can see that they already gave us some code here to work with, which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and look through it. Uh, first, we have a lot of different libraries we could use. And we have our integer n value. It looks like they're going to scan an n. So that's going to be our first number here. Uh, n denotes the size of the array and then they create a variable called r, an integer variable called r or arr which I'm sure is short for array and it's of size n and let's see now they are going through the for loop and they have a iteration variable called r underscore i usually people would just write i here for index so I'm guessing this maybe is array index and it starts at 0 and it runs while it's less than the size of the array and then it increments by 1 each time. So here they're scanning in a number into the array. So they're going to be scanning in 6 times in this case from the sample size or the sample input and our value n would be 6 from the sample input. So all we have to do is create a variable, maybe call it sum, set it equal to 0. And then sum is going to equal sum plus the value that we're getting currently in the array. And this will keep adding up all of the values together. And then we just need to print the sum. So let's see sum. And that should be it. They basically did a lot of the hard work for us. So let's go ahead and run the code. And it says congratulations, you passed the sample test case, which is good. Uh, they expected 31 and our output was 31. So let's go ahead and submit this, see if it passed all their tests. Oh, great. Congrats. You solved this challenge. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this short video on Hacker Rank and on some of these coding challenges. And I hope to put some more videos up about Hacker Rank. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.